Hey y'all, here OS Reviews. Today we're taking a quick look at the Anchor Soundcore Sleep A10. These are wireless buds which are designed for sleeping, and as a result they're super tiny, they're relatively unobtrusive, having a flat profile much smaller than the typical wireless buds. And just like the Bose Sleep Buds, which they're trying to compete with, they offer sleep tracking capabilities as well, light versus deep, as well as how long you've slept, and also play back some soft, soothing nature sounds to help you fall asleep faster, blocking out external noise, and also set alarms which will only wake you up versus a regular alarm which might also wake your partner for instance. Anchor though claims that their model will block out more sound than both Bose and Amazfit's options, supporting up to 35 decibels of noise reduction versus 20 decibels on those competing models, and perhaps more importantly, these do have a music listening mode, which means you can still wear them like regular buds during the day to listen to songs and podcasts and listen to the nature sounds at night, versus the sleep buds from Bose can only play back nature sounds, there is no option to play back your own own music. So that makes these much more versatile and, in my opinion, a better value. They have up to six hours of battery life if you're listening to music continuously. When you are wearing them at night and only sleeping, they will last for up to 10 hours of continuous sleep tracking. The battery case can then provide an additional three to four top-ups when you're on the road. So in the box here we have some abundant selection of silicon tips to get a more snug fit and this is very important they need to be comfy in order for you to fall asleep with them and there's also some additional wings to get a more snug fit on the outside it tells you how to wear them is basically pop them up vertically and then twist them to lock into place that will prevent them from falling loose when you're turning around in your sleep for example some quick tips on how to activate the different features in the app which we'll take a look at later on they are definitely the smallest buds that i've ever seen in my life just how slim the profile here is versus something like regular AirPods or AA battery. Here it is next to a US one cent penny, which you can just tell just how small these guys really are. A closer look at the design here, it is made predominantly out of polycarbonate plastic to keep the weight light and Otherwise, they don't even have a built-in microphone because it's not really designed for making phone calls. There's labeling for the left and right, and that's pretty much it. There is no, by the way, a built-in, say, heart rate sensor on these. Although, arguably, for some of those tracking capabilities, you would also have already on a standard smartwatch. So this is really meant to help you block out noise, be small enough so you can still hear a little bit of nature sound and help you sleep. The grills here are still made out of aluminum and metal, as you can see there, and then the silicon a tip which gets you two layers actually inside just to make them feel even more comfortable. So taking a closer look at the design of the battery case, this part is much more traditional. In fact, it doesn't look much different from regular Soundcore Liberty wireless headphone cases. It's constructed out of a very clean polycarbonate finish though, which doesn't really attract any fingerprints or smudges. We have just the indication light and a Type-C port for charging and that's it. The door here slides open with a pretty satisfying click and otherwise just has a little bit of branding info on the back the Sleep A10s, and whenever you slide open the door, they will automatically wake up and start to pair with your device. So overall, it's a very clean and minimalistic design. It's the same companion app which you use for their other buds, and once connected, you're able to activate either a music listening mode or the sleep mode. So under the music mode, whenever you're just playing back anything from your phone, the sound will obviously come out from the buds themselves. Now, as expected for something so tiny, of course, driver size will also be more limited, but I was still surprised by overall the clarity that you're able to get. They may not be the loudest or most aggressive buds in the world in terms of bass since, again, smaller speakers in here, but they're still perfectly fine. They didn't really sound too tinny either, and I found them to still be enjoyable enough for things like watching back some casual YouTube videos, listening to some podcasts, and things were still clean, especially with mids and trebles. However, the fun part really begins when you go over to the sleep mode. That's where you're able to unlock some of the additional functions. Notably, it will begin playing back a default white noise sound that you can set. There's also something they call adaptive noise reduction, which depending on if you've actually fallen asleep, it will detect that and try to lower the white noise sound to consume less power and prevent you from getting disrupted in your sleep, which is a function that has actually worked relatively well. Again, it's not using microphones, but rather the accelerometer, the gyroscope, to know if you have fallen asleep because you aren't really turning around quite as much, and as a result, it will start to lower that volume. 
Some other things that you can do here include checking out your sleep data. So this is some records from the previous day you can see as a reference. It can actually tell you your light versus deep sleep, which surprisingly isn't bad in terms of the accuracy either. When I compared it with some fitness trackers, it was pretty much the same number that I saw, including regions when I was waking up, it was able to detect that with a pretty good sense of accuracy. Now granted, one thing that I will say though is, uh, again, these don't have heart rate monitoring while you're sleeping, so that's one feature that you won't find. One of the other things to keep in mind is even if you aren't necessarily in the sleep mode, you're in the music mode, and you fall asleep, it will still count that as sleep. Sometimes there might be a little bit of a false positive, but as long as you are a little bit more conscious in terms of only popping them in while you are preparing to go to sleep, then lie down, and then actually close your eyes, then wake up, and then pop them out, the overall record will be, for the most part, done quite well. Other controls that you can toggle include what you want to do for a double tap versus a single tap. Then tapping on settings, you are able to add alarms. The one thing that is interesting is you can only set up one time uh, at once. You can either change this or delete it. You can't set up multiple alarms, which is something maybe they can change in the software later on. Going back to the music mode here for a moment, aside from being able to now listen to whatever is being played from your phone, using it as the audio source, you'll also find the ability to change some other properties like the equalizer. So as you're listening to music, you can use either the Soundcore signature or some of the other presets, which are really similar to the other headphones that we've seen from this company in the past, whether you prefer genres like pop, rock, bass boosted, you can also toggle those options and it does make a bit of a difference. Granted, it, you won't find a custom hearing test, custom EQ mode, so that is one feature that is missing along with lacking features like say active noise cancellation, but again, considering that the main emphasis here is on just longer battery life for tracking sleep, I think it's still a trade-off that makes sense, especially since the buds here already block out a lot of noise because of the unique design of the silicon tips that they have used here. Now, one thing that you'll also find here include a fast sleep mode that will trigger some additional music that is loaded into the app, which you can use to help you fall asleep, including this one that they've called Brainwave Audio. It's a mix of forest sounds, water sounds, that it's very gentle. They've also got a few other presets for other occasions, like a quick nap sound, which is just a gentle ocean noise, but a little bit more tropical in the background. Some other ones here for focus, which you can use if you're, say, meditating. Under sleep music, you can also find additional variations which are a little bit more common but they are going to allow you to toggle between options like rain sound, river, birds, circata, creek, water, so on and so forth. Notably, these songs can also be uploaded to the buds themselves so even if you are disconnected it will still play it back uh, so that is pretty cool as well so if you don't have your phone next to you for instance it will still play back the rain sound. Overall I would say that the app is simple, it's easy to use but gets you all of those essentials at a glance and it's quite fast in terms of pairing and transferring data over when it comes to the syncing process, not too much going on in terms of delay, and just using them as wireless buds, they're also perfectly normal in terms of you can watch back YouTube videos, it's using the latest Bluetooth chipset, so there's not too much lag going on either, despite not having a dedicated low latency mode specifically geared for gaming. Again, primarily these are still meant for meditating, sleeping, and resting. So perhaps the only thing left to touch on here would be about the comfort. And like I said, these are one of the smallest and lightest buds that you'll ever find, really matching that of what Bose has on offer. And indeed, they are quite comfy and super snug and pretty much as slim as can be. Granted, if you are, say, someone who prefers sleeping on your side, either the left or the right, and you have your ear pressing down on the pillowcase, it's still something that you can kind of discern is there. However, if you are sleeping on something like a softer pillow, such as a memory foam pillow or something which is just a little more puffy, it can still become a comfortable enough experience, but despite the fact that they are super shallow, so they don't really protrude from your ears at all, uh, they still can feel the presence of something in there if you are sleeping on something like a harsher, a firmer pillow. They were also snug enough, at least when being locked in, that I personally didn't encounter them falling out and becoming hard to find, so they were pretty much always still there whenever I woke up in the morning. Now one thing I will mention here though is this will probably benefit folks that are primarily in areas which require just a little bit more of 
noise to be blocked out, such as if you're living in a city area, let's say in New York, Tokyo, or Shanghai, where there's a lot of bustling going around, very early it will try to wake you up. Something like this can make a pretty big difference. But if you are already someone that is living in a more rural location, it's already quiet, then you probably won't get the biggest difference out of these. However, if you are someone that is more of a constant traveler, you're going on planes a lot, you're often you know, going to new cities and locations, this can still help you formulate better sleep patterns. Overall, I would say they are as effective as the bows when it comes to the comfort, the ability to just get you a little bit more of added um, ability to sleep just in more peace. So you can check out more details if you're interested in links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.